Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is third video in Veeam Backup and Replication Advanced Training and in this video I'm going to uh, give you the overview of uh, Veeam Backup and Replication Console so how we can use the Veeam Backup and Replication Console and what all the, uh, all the options available in console so uh, in last video we have installed our Veeam Backup and Replication 9.5 in our Veeam Backup Server which is our win 2 get 12 Veeam so I'm taking you to the the server and I'm going to connect the console so by default uh, when you install a Veeam console it's going to uh, create a desktop on your sh shortcut if you have if you don't have that uh, that icon you can go to Veeam and from here you can see the Veeam backup and replication cell and remote access console everything you can get from here so I'm going to click on connect so it's loading the console now so when you do the first installation you will see this uh, machine is running on Veeam backup and replication will run on free edition you can see from here where the console is connected so this console is currently connected on a local machine so it's showing the local host and from here you will get the license information and your license edition what the license what type of license you have so if I go on here on option you can see we have a uh, option called manage credential so if I go here you can uh, see manage credential where you can add a different type of uh, credential uh, uh, for the your products like uh, Linux uh, Windows or anything and then you can use later on to authenticate the backup services from the credential managers and uh, we have also uh, manage password which is going to save your password and uh, update your encryption password uh, so th uh, you can see these password are used to protect actual encryption key which is generated randomly each time when the job runs so you can store the password for the encryption key and password manager so good to know that and we have a um, manage azure account option you can add your uh, azure subscription detail here or classic or you can uh, as well add the resource manager which is the latest one and you can see the uh, region is also showing so global germany china so whatever reason you have you can go and add this so uh, this you can add the your um, azure cloud from here microsoft azure cloud and next option we have uh, which we need to check the users and roles so here you can see the Veeam administrator if I click here you can see you can re rename the name for this account either you can select a group and you can give the uh, delegation access like uh, like if you want to give someone a backup operator you can give them backup restore and backup administrator and backup viewer so by default we have four options here in uh, Veeam uh, role uh, for the Veeam uh, adv administration so a restore admi uh, operator which can restore uh, the backup from Veeam and the backup operator can take the backup jobs schedule and backup administrator have the full access right on Veeam and backup viewer can only view the backups which is running or schedule or history anything so we are going to focus all these step by step so here you can see the configure backup option so you can save uh, your Veeam backup configuration also so uh, this is you can see this is schedule and if you want you can modify the schedule and uh, currently it's so it's saying last backup uh, no backup so I'm going to take the backup now you can see it's going to take the backup of this um, configuration so you can see the backup is available now and now we uh, we can get the restore button also to restore the backup for the Veeam so I'm going to focus on this uh, task also in one of the video so just want to show here you can see backup we have a uh, in D drive uh, the folder is created because it's going to the default path which is 
uh, our f uh, 501 gig uh, drive so it's going to take the backup and it's creating the folder here veeam configure backup so this is going to take the configuration of our veeam uh, backup and replication server so good to know that we can click on ok and then we have a um, color option uh, console option so powershell putty remote desktop whatever you want to user configure you can go and connect and use this and we have a color theme we can so change the color if you want to change the color for the beam theme so you can always go and change as per your like um, use per choice so and we have a view option so fully functional so this is advanced one you can see this is advanced view and if I go here uh, free facility only so you can see this is a free facilities only so I'm going to set here fully functional and advanced so other than this we have a license we can install the license uh, you can see we free uh, free edition this is a free edition so to take your backup to the next level that try the full version of uh, Veeam backup so which you can give you schedule backup built-in advanced VM replication Veeam Explorer and Cloud Connect and guest file indexing also you can get the license and you can browse the license and install so we are going to do this also in next videos so also you have a help option support information and about us which is going to show you the Veeam information which version you are running and other other details so if you want to go here you can go and see the technical support portal also you can browse from here and if you want to log a case with Veeam you can go here and uh, raise a case with for the Veeam support so this is all I guess you will get the phone numbers and all details and this is all we have in options and a part of this you have a home where you can see all the jobs last 24 hours 24 hours and you have an inventory you can see all your vSphere server cyper v and your physical and cloud infrastructure you can see here manually added unmanaged so you can see all the tasks here and if you go to backup infrastructure you can see your backup repository here which is by default created and when escalation uh, escalators you can add but it's required a enterprise plus addition and you have a service provider you can add and manage server which is uh, going to be managed so currently you can see this is a backup server so you can see here description is a backup server so uh, always you can change this so So the next step uh, is a tape uh, infrastructure. You can add the tapes, and so we have a add tape server file to tab um, backup to tab tape and restore file from tape. So everything you have uh, related to tape infrastructure. Then we have a file option where you can see the structure of, of files and folder for the your uh, Windows servers. Microsoft servers it's showing one server which is itself a Veeam server which is a backup server you can see all the details here for the drive and all and at the last you have a history option which is going to uh, give you the all task which was run uh, in past like all the backup schedule replication schedule if you run any restore it's going to show here so everything you have and also you can see here it's a catalog information what it's done so this is all the step which was performed like we have taken the backup configuration job so which we have taken so if you want to verify again if I go click here you can see the backup job is here starting so all the task history you will get from here and you have aesthetics also if you want to see the details of any task can see from here so so uh, this is all about the Veeam backup and replication console so we have gone through all the option which is available here on the console and 
in the next video we are going to use this console to perform few post installation task in Vim backup and replication so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye